let's take a look at the R work page. So this page is a page where we we've, we've added some photos for a photo gallery. So if I click on it, you'll see that I have access now to some of these photos. When you hover over it, you can see the captions. So when I click on this, you'll see that the picture expands and we can go from before, during, and after. So before and after photos, I we always think are very impactful. I think they're always a good idea to include on your portfolio. So if I go back to our work, you'll see that there, there's a thumbnail image. Right? So each of these galleries have a thumbnail. And then once you get into the thumbnail, then uh, once you click the thumbnail image, you're brought to the full gallery. So here, this is before the lattice was added to the stairs. Now the, uh, the lattice has been added. This is before, and you'll see the caption again here on the bottom, and the after. So what I'd like to do is create a new gallery. And let's do Trunfino. So you can organize your galleries by either by job or by type. So what you could do, um, in this case, you'll see that we've done both. So this is an outdoor and then this is a particular edition. So we're going to add another edition. So if I go back to the dashboard, you'll see there's an add a gallery. You'll also see here that there's our work. So if I go and add a gallery, let's call it Trumfino and let's add first a cover image. Cover image and thumbnail is the same thing. So what you generally want to do is pick an after photo. And their kitchen looks really good. So let's make that the, let's make that the cover, the, the thumbnail. And here you see it crunching the image. Let's add this. Um, select that image and now you'll see that that is the cover image. So let's add uh, a gallery item. Click the add image button. Let's do that again. So down here you'll see add image and let's take the before image Upload that. And it will crunch it at the end, so it's, it's processing it and making it optimized for the website. So let's add this selected image. And we will call this Okay, so now I have the before picture. So let's add some more photos to the gallery. Now what you can do to save a little time is let's take these two dooring photos and add them both at the same time. So I drag and drop both photos and you'll see that uploads one and then I'll upload the next one as soon as the first one is done. Let's add these selected images. So now you'll see that automatically made two extra uh, rows here. So we'll call this and let's make this 
Let's make it consistent. And now let's add the after photos. So I'm selecting both of these images and dragging them in. Okay, so you'll see that it does the same thing as it did uh, before, where it added new rows automatically for me. And let's say, let's see the after photos. Okay, so let, let's go publish this. So now that I've published it, let's reload the page. And you'll see that Tronfio is now here at the beginning. And you'll see the uh, before, during, and after photos. Normally what we like to do is um, put the before pictures first, so put it in chronological order so that if somebody's clicking through the page, then they'll be able to see here's the before picture during and after. Now what you may want to do is group the kitchen and bath together. So let's say we show the, the bathroom during and we want to put the bathroom after together and then we want to put the, the kitchen during and the kitchen after. And let's even say that we want the kitchen to be before the bathroom. So we can drag this one up here. We can drag. Oops, see, I made a mistake here. So this is. And this may actually be a little bit better so that people can make that, that uh, direct connection more easily. So let's update the page. And let's reload it here. And now what you'll see is those pictures have been reordered. So if somebody's clicking through the page, you'll see the before, the during, the after, and then let's the bathroom is uh, during and the bathroom afterwards. So now you've created your own gallery. And we can add more galleries if we choose to. So if we go back and we, uh, we can either go back to the dashboard or we can look at all galleries. So let's go back to the dashboard and add a gallery. Let's do one more to make sure that that you got it. So let's add a commercial gallery. This one's a little bit shorter, so um, won't need to do nearly as much work, but it is a good idea to run through these things a couple of times just to make sure that we have all the steps down. So here again, we're going to add a cover image, a thumbnail, and where you'll see those thumbnails, you'll see them again, back here where um, it's the first image. We also have these throughout the website. So if let's say I was back on the home page um, and I take a look here, you'll see that it added the Trunfino, Trunfio uh, gallery here, the, the thumbnail. That's why you want to add an after shot here so that if photos show up in other places, you don't want people thinking the before work represents your work. You want, you want to show the, uh, the finished work. So even if I were to click here, it would bring me straight to this, to this gallery. I'm going to go back to our work. And what we're going to do is add a commercial work gallery. I'm going to add this cover image. 
And I think this is a great shot, so let's add it as, as the cover image, as the thumbnail. I'm going to select that image. And now let's add the, the two gallery images for that gallery. So it may seem a little confusing, you've just added this photo, but this is the one that acts as the thumbnail. And then we want to add your other images. Even if one of them acts as your thumbnail, it still needs to appear in the gallery. So you just, you need to add it into the gallery as well. And let's add these selected images. I'm going to um, leave off captions for now. Let's go ahead and publish it. And you'll see if we go back to the main our work page and let's reload that page, you'll see that it's now added commercial work. So now you should have an idea of how to add a slide to the home page. But now that we've added some of these uh, galleries, what I'd like to do is go back and change the link of one of the home page slideshows. So let's go back to pages. I want to see all the pages. So we're going to go to the home page and edit that. And now let's take this baths to link to Tronfio. So what this does is it picks up on all of the places you have to link to automatically. So as you make new galleries, when you come back to these places, you can link to the galleries that you make on, on the list. So I'm going to link it there. And I'm going to update the page. And let's reload it. Actually, let's go back to the home page. And you'll see when I come here, it brings me to the gallery that we made. So thank you very much. This is a quick run through of how to administer your website. We hope that you find that it's, it's something pretty straightforward and easy to do. But as always, please contact us if you have any questions. Thank you so much.